Hey guys, what's up? It's Jess from Be The Change Tarot. Today we're going to do our little weekly energy check. So these readings are shorter and less involved than our monthlies and our mid-monthlies are. And they're also set up a little bit differently. These readings are going to take a look into your energy towards your person and your person's energy towards you for about the next week. And we're going to take a look at what they're thinking about you, how they're feeling about you, um, how they see you at this time, and any possible actions you guys might be taking towards each other in the next week. So these are just little weekly check-ins to see where the energy lies. They're not outcomes, just to see where the energy is for the next week, just to get us through until we do our mid-monthlies here coming up soon. So if you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And then hit the notification button so that you can be notified when the mid-monthlies and the monthlies come out as well, if you like this reading. It is energy, so that means the roles can be reversed, guys. So take it how it resonates for you. If you need to flip the roles, Go ahead and do so. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys. I love reading your comments. You guys are absolutely amazing. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placement videos. Your moon rising and Venus signs will sometimes resonate more than your sun sign does. All right, no more blabbing. We're just going to get started. Archangels and guides, please deliver very clear, very precise messages from my very beautiful Libras the next week. Show me Libra's energy towards their person for the next week, please. Show me Libra's energy towards their person, please, for the next week. Show me Libra's energy towards their person, please. Libra's energy towards their person for the next week. All right, let's see what we got, guys. going to get your person's energy out on the table now so we can read it all together. My Libras. Show me the person that Libra is dealing with their energy towards Libra for the next week, please. Show me the person that Libra is dealing with for the next week, please. Show me their energy towards Libra. How are they feeling towards Libra? Show me their energy towards Libra for the next week, please. Interesting energy, guys. It seems like whoever you are dealing with is kind of mirroring you. You guys are kind of mirroring each other, as in you're in similar energies, similar thoughts and feelings towards each other at this time. So your overall energy for the reading Libra is the Five of Wands. So a little bit in conflict with yourself and your thoughts and your feelings. And sometimes our heart and our mind are not always on the same place, and that can, you know, bring about some conflict within ourselves. Their overall energy is the Two of Pentacles. So they're kind of in the same thing, trying to find that balance. They're kind of torn between how they feel and what they think is best, what they want and you know what else they want. It's kind of like the same kind of torn, conflicted energy. So mirroring. In your mind, you're really thinking about them. You're missing this person with this Queen of Cups here, thinking about the times you had. Um, kind of like a sad girl, sad boy vibe. You know, you're, you're missing them and you're reflecting on that. You're thinking about them, thinking about when things were good with them. In your heart, you want to go after them. This is a fast moving energy. The Knight of Wands is, he takes action. He goes after what he wants. He's very passionate. And you do still have that passion for this person, even over everything you guys have been through. And you're in your heart, you want to go after them but then your logical mind sets in and that is where the conflict comes. You see this person as, you know, somebody you love, somebody that a part of you wants to offer your love to, somebody that a part of them wants to offer their love to you. You have a lot of love for this person. Your action card is not really much of an action card though, Libras. It is the Four of Cups, so this is about rejecting love at this time. You're not wanting it like you do want it but you don't and that's that torn energy again 
of, yes, I love this person, but no, I'm not going to keep doing this. And no, I'm not accepting any love at time or extending it. And so like I said, these are not outcomes. These are just weekly energies. And it seems like this is the energy that you guys are both in for this week. Because here they are with the nine of wands in their thoughts. So they're, they're tired. They are like been put through the ringer. They just can't. They're getting to the point where they just can't take it anymore. But they're still holding on. They're still holding on to you. They're still holding on to a little bit of hope that this can work out. But they're getting close to that like breaking point as I think you are too, which is why you're not accepting or offering your love to them at this time either. In their heart, they just want you guys to be happy. They just want to be happy. They have the sun card here, baby on a pony. Nothing's happier than a baby on a pony. You know, they just want you to be happy and they want them to be happy and they want you all to be happy together. And how they see you is a six of cups right now. So they're definitely on memory lane, reminiscing, thinking about the good times you guys have had. And they know that you are too. They can sense that. You guys probably, especially with the Six of Cups showing up here, um, have a very deep soul connection. You're really close to this person. So they know that you're missing them like they're missing you. And ironically, so you have the Four of Cups as your action. They also have the Four of Cups as their action. So like I said, mirroring each other, you know, at this time, they know that you're missing them. You know you guys are missing each other. You guys know you love each other, but you know that it's been a struggle. And you just, neither one of you at this time, it's kind of like an impasse. You know, neither one of you are giving or taking at this time. It's kind of just going within and trying to see where you're going to go from here. Asking yourself what you really want, what's really best for you. All right, Libras. It's not a chaotic energy. It's kind of a... It's kind of a, yes, it's crazy, and this relationship is crazy, and yes, I've been going through a lot, and I'm not really sure what to do. But at the same time, it's like you're both giving yourself some space. You're both giving your, allowing yourself to give your, yourself that time, that healing, that space for breath that you both need. All right. Children, you, your love life is being affected by children. So this is not going to be a message for all of you, but for some of you. Um, you could have children together, and that could be making this even more of a complicated situation. So that's going to be a message for some of you spirits, saying that they understand that that, you know, is a part of this, and that is definitely going to make this more difficult for you. I'm going to play one more. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And this is perfect, because right now you guys are all taking that little bit of time for yourselves to figure out what you really want and how you're going to get through this, if you're going to get through this what's best for you guys and this is just saying take this time for yourself because divine timing is at play what's meant for you is always going to be for you so you have nothing to lose by taking some space you have nothing to lose by working on yourself and trying to move forward because what's meant for you is always for you so if you work on yourself and you get yourself to you know a good stable grounded place and you guys are meant for each other it will come back around and you guys will be better than ever and able to tackle the world and if you're not meant for each other you'll find what is meant for you on that path of healing so you really have nothing to lose we're going to pull two moonology cards for you spirit can i get two moonology cards for my beautiful libras what messages would help them the most at this time oh, let's see two fell out that's perfect hold your vision fixed moon so if you have a goals and you have dreams and you're on a path if you're on a path of healing hold that vision if you're on a path of fixing fixing this you know but however this resonates for you this was this came out for you this is your message so you, when i said these words to you hold your vision whatever that means to you is what that message is for you so take it how it resonates for you specifically and then i love this full moon in sagittarius Look at the bigger picture. So not just right now and in this moment, but the bigger of your life and the whole of it. What do you really want? What is best for you? When I have a hard time, sometimes what we want and what's best for us are not always the same. And when I have a hard time, when I'm torn, that's usually a question that I ask myself because my higher self and my spirit, my soul, always wants what's best for me. And even if it's not what I want at the time, it knows what's best for me. So I asked myself that question. All right, guys, I'm sending you guys lots of love and light because I see that you guys are going through it. But take this time to really figure some things out for yourself. 
You guys are mirroring energies. This is just check-ins for a week. Um, if you this resonated for you, like, share, and subscribe, and then go ahead and hit the notification button because I will be doing the monthly or the mid-monthlies here in about a week, so you can get notified when those get uploaded as well. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Till next time.